Now, KCTV5 is your school authority. Back to school just is around the corner. I know, and that potentially means spending hundreds of dollars on school supplies for those kiddos. Well, there are some ways to avoid spending a small fortune. <laughs> <laughs> so here are some tips to help make back to school shopping easier on your budget. According to the National Retail Federation, the average family is planning to spend over $800 on back to school supplies this year, which is way up from last year. But you don't have to spend a small fortune to get your kids ready for school. First, try reusing and recycling. Pull out all of the leftover supplies from last year, take inventory, and see what you can salvage. Their backpack and lunchbox may just need a good wash, and there are probably binders, pens, and pencils that can be put back into rotation. You can even pull out unused pages from a spiral notebook to use as loose leaf paper for this year. Next, if you're going to spend on new items, invest in gear that's built to last. Sometimes you really do get what you pay for, especially when it comes to bigger items like backpacks. So check to make sure that zippers and latches are sturdy and that it's something that can grow with your child for a few years. Now, to that point, kids are often very interested in getting a new backpack that has the character or cartoon that they love. Instead, get a simple backpack and then you can add inexpensive stickers or patches or keychains, whatever kind of they're into that year, and switch it out the next year. Another idea is to compare your shopping list to the sales flyers. So take a look at those sales flyers to plan out where you're going to shop and what you'll buy. And keep in mind that some stores will even price match from another store's flyer. So bring the flyer with you if you're gonna shop in person and try to do your shopping at a max of two spots to minimize the hassle of running all over town because no one wants to do that. Another great savings tip is to skip the disposables. At first, plastic baggies seem like they're really cheap and they are to start, but you have to keep replenishing them. So instead, invest in those reusable lunch containers for sandwiches and snacks. It'll help to save the planet and also your pocketbook. Surprisingly, you can also save on extracurricular gear. What you can do is actually look for used sports equipment or even musical instruments on places like Facebook Marketplace, Play It Again Sports, eBay, or even Craigslist. Odds are you'll find some very gently used items for a significant discount. All right, uh, Bill. Mm -hmm. Did you spend a fall small fortune this year? <laughs> no, we haven't spent a small fortune yet, thankfully. But a good tip also is make sure you take advantage of those tax-free weekends. Yeah. Coming up I know weekend. we have one coming up this weekend in Missouri. Yeah, so good tips there to help you save some money because back to school, I know for us, is only about 12 days away. Ooh, yeah. right around the corner. Exciting. Down to the short rows of summer.